Who is Solomon? Solomon was the last king of Israel. Was the most wealthiest man on this earth and was a Jew Jewish king who ruled Israel uh, during the period of 970 BC to 931 BC. That was the time when he ruled Israel. Now he his kingdom was a very small kingdom that is the United Kingdom of Israel. It was a very small kingdom but through his um, smartness and his wisdom he managed to uh, spread his uh, territory into a wider area into a, so many other places were ruled by him uh, they the kings from all neighboring countries uh, came to him for help and uh, wanted to be friends with him and uh, offered their daughters as his wives so uh, that way king solomon was rich in wealth rich with wives rich with um, mistresses so king solomon had 700 wives and 300 mistresses now why we uh, say 700 wives why is that a, a, a something that is mentioned is because in the olden days in those days this is bce means before christ so in the olden days if you want to have one wife okay fine everybody has one wife now if you want to have more than one wives you have to be wealthy enough to look after the second wife also that way if you have what does it mean if you have 700 wives means you are wealthy enough to take care of 700 wives the same way and also 300 mistresses who are not wives of course so how many palaces he had he had so many palaces he had so much of wealth that uh, you know it was it, it until date he is recorded as the wealthiest man who lived on earth so that was king solomon now king solomon came uh, became a king at the age of 15 when his father was uh, sick he had an older brother and he had a, an uncle who were uh, uh, you know trying to get uh, the throne means trying to become the king but uh, his mother and his younger brother uh, may uh, force the king forced means in the sense they advise the king to let solomon become the king while the father was on his deathbed because solomon everyone knew that was a very smart young boy so at the age of 15 he became a king he was a very um, spiritually inclined very um, very religious and he used to read a lot of books when he was young he used to uh, you know uh, he was very much um, inclined towards wisdom he wanted knowledge he wanted knowledge more than anything so he started uh, building a temple for the um for the israel god at that time there was no jesus christ or any anything else there was only a, a god which was known as the god of israel and the israel was the supposed to be the chosen land and um, he started building a temple so god was very pleased with this and he was a young boy he is only 15 years old and as soon as he became king two years after he became king that is at 17 he started building a temple the first temple of israel so god appeared before him in a dream and asked him solomon i'm very pleased with you that you have um, you're building me a temple now more and more people in this world will know about me and what do you want in return so solomon th- uh, did not even think for a second Solomon told the God of Israel Lord give me wisdom to rule my people better because he was a young boy he had only that much of knowledge so he said give me the wisdom 
and the knowledge to rule my people better to become a better king so the god of israel was so pleased god of israel was so happy that this young boy did not ask for riches did not ask to kill off his enemies did not ask for a, a, a life that would not end means to live forever he did not ask any of that he asked for wisdom and knowledge to become a better king to rule his people so all he wanted was uh, for somebody else for for others he did not ask for himself so that i even now is considered as a virtue a human being can possess means you ask for others not for yourself you want something for others how many people can do that so when you ask for others it is unselfishness you are not asking for anything for yourself god i don't want for me i want for my neighbor it's a big thing so god was so pleased so god gave him a lot of riches everything whatever he wanted and god gave him something else what i'm going to tell you next is what is relevant to the course we are going to do the 44 seals of solomon now solomon what we know about king solomon is what is um what is mentioned in the bible as well as many other religious books all over the world so it is a fact that these things happened and uh, solomon is a very important figure in the bible uh, in the torah in the quran uh, in the kabbala as well as many other religions so uh, maybe each uh, each book or each religion portrays him in a different way but what we know mainly is what is gathered from these books the what the world knows now apart from all this solomon had another kind of wisdom had some other secret knowledge which he wanted to share with his sons so that his sons would become as great as he was so he um, wrote books and he kept all this knowledge secret in some books these books were later discovered and that is how the world came to know about the secrets of solomon's knowledge and wisdom now the seal which you see on the screen is the third pentacle of venus this seal is the most sought after seal among uh, people all around the world who are seeking love affection and uh, marriage that sort of commitment so in this seal if if it is charged activated and just shown to somebody it is said to attract love so uh, just uh, please note what i said charged activated and showed all these three things should go together 